Welcome to this demonstration on how to build widgets for your OS portal workspace with Mongoose. This course is focused on applying existing knowledge of Mongoose to this specific use case. If you haven't already, completing the Mongoose Hello World course will provide you a strong foundation for building robust widgets in Mongoose. By the end of this course, we will have created an IDO based on our Ion API and a new form that can be displayed as a widget in your workspace. The form will show a list of applications called from an Ion API endpoint. Identify your Ion API data sources. First, identify your Ion API data source. Select the OS application in your navigation menu and then select API Gateway. Choose the API suite that you'd like to access. In this case, we want to list the available applications for the current user. This is a pre-existing endpoint in the M4OS portal suite. Select documentation and scroll to find your endpoint. Hit try it out and execute to make a test call to the API. In this case, the endpoint does not have any input parameters, so we can go ahead and hit execute. Create the IN API suites and methods for these sources. We need to make sure that Mongoose can access this API suite and the accompanying methods. Your IDO will be built on top of this. Open Mongoose and hit the IN API servers form. Take a look at the suites in the grid. If your API suite is not already added, click Import Suites and search for your chosen suite. In this case, we're looking for InfoOS Portal. Hit OK and then hit Save to complete the import. Now we need to add the methods that will call specific endpoints in that suite. On the Ion API servers form, select Suite. Select your chosen suite and make sure your method hasn't been created already. If not, select Import Methods. Search for the method you want and then hit OK. Now save your method and copy the rest path for our next step. Use the Ion API to IDO wizard to create an IDO for your data source. Next, we're going to create the IDO for that Ion API endpoint. Based on our response body, there are many possible pieces of data to show in our list. In this case, we're just concerned with the application name and its version. In Mongoose, select the Runtime Builder button. Confirm your editing at the site default level as per Mongoose best practices. Select external data source and then IDO from Ion API wizard. Input your server ID. You have the option to select use single sign-on SSL. This will mean that the API call will be made as the current user. If this is unchecked, the call will be made with the service user that was used to set up the Ion API file. Select your chosen suite. Now we need to check the proxy path to access the current documentation for the API endpoint. This is done in API Gateway. Select API Gateway and then API Metadata. Select the API Suites Suite Context Operations Endpoint. Hit Try It Out and add the suite name and rest path in the correct fields. If at first the response is blank, the rest path may be incorrect. Try removing the first path item or checking the documentation again if this is the case. Copy the proxy path value. Now we need to complete our IDO. Paste your proxy path, select your method, in this case our applications endpoint, Confirm that the Swagger document field is populated. Hit Next and you should see your input parameters. In this case, we don't have any input parameters. If that were the case, we could add default values. Hit Next and you'll see the output parameters. Only the parameters you select will be added to the IDO. We'll select Name and Version. If you want to do any CRUD operations, you can define that in the next phases of the wizard. Check out the Ion API to Mongoose IDO wizard video to see how that works. Click through to the end of the wizard and add a name for your IDO. Select the IDO project you want to add it to. Optionally, add a description. Finally, open the IDO's form and confirm your IDO has the properties you want. Use Runtime Builder to create your form. Now that we have our IDO, we're going to create our form. Empty your cache and select Runtime Builder again. Select Form Builder for the category and Responsive Form for the form type. Choose a name for your form and select the IDO you just made. Select the widget form type. Select your template. We're going to start with list v2. Select the properties from your IDO that you wish to include on your widget. We'll add name and version. Hit finish. 
The wizard will have created two forms. One is the individual tile that will make up the list, and the other is the actual list itself. Their form captions will automatically be form builder template widget list for the full form and form builder template widget list with tile for the individual tiles. If you open your full list in runtime mode, it will expand it to fill the screen. When it's presented in the widget container, it will be sized correctly, so don't worry. If you open the individual tile, it will show a template for each list item. Open your full form and change the caption to whichever title you, you'd like so it's easier to find. Save the form. Open your individual tile. You may also make changes to the design of the tile if you'd like. Check out our Hello World and application development courses on developer.in4.com to learn more about building forms. Save and close your tile. Unload your cache and then you can open the form to see any changes you made. Now, we will make sure the form is available in Portal Workspaces. Open the form with the name App Form. If you want your widget to be available to other users, add your form you just created from the dropdown to the grid and save. Add Mongoose widget to the workspace and select your form. Now we want to add the M4 Mongoose widget to our workspace and hit Widget Settings. Select your configuration and widget form you created. Leave Form Only and Refresh Selected. Save, and now you have your widget.